Welcome back to Eternal Strada. So let's jump in the portal and see what happens. Well, first, uh, by the way, in case you're wondering, you can you can try to examine the portal towards Forte, but Elegant is like, nah, let's not go there. This is no time for appreciating the scenery. We can't afford to let Waltz get away. Well, Tio, you know what happens when you look at the darkness. You better not blink. Alright, uh, get ready folks, because, uh, hmm. well... That looks like the warp room for Crash Bash. <laughs> Same color scheme and everything. All right. <gasps> oh my god, I don't you... remember what that sounded like. Alright, uh, folks, I want you to think for a second. Well, for the dreams that you remember, do you may get uh, the occasion that... Uh, while you're almost at the end of it, you're about to wake up. Uh, yeah. Things start to get blurry, confusing a bit. Uh, Sometimes, things not for all Things should dreams. not make sense. Uh, things that should not talk start talking to you or start like that. Uh, the game will try replicating that feeling. To justify stuff. Now we are basically... Whoa. Now, now well, basically we're, we're in Final Dungeon territory, sorta. Of. Basically, this is where Waltz and Legato fled. This is a very alien-looking place, it's called the Elegy of the Moon. It, it's... I'm not sure what exactly how to describe it, it's... Uh, can be considered so not an alternate dimension, but more like... Uh, uh, sort of a plane of existence, quote-unquote. As you will talk to those people, these floating orbs that are here, you will discover that this is where the people who assumes the mineral power powder end up with their so their astra these are people's astras um, the blues are the male and the, fe the the females are red of course um, can't just leave things like this Wait, but on. for some reason they live here in this place uh, um, and for some reason they saw these uh, huge monster with with watts on top of it flying away uh, so basically it's our job going there I'm a bit Sad that the fact that the characters don't really react to, to all of this. You get this dialogue at the beginning where Allegret is like, we don't really have time to waste. Most of the dialogues that you get are here from the interaction with the, the actual souls. Um, well, but... Poco looked visibly shocked, but that was about it. Yeah. Let me guess, yeah. post game um, content. We will get some. Hmm? Let me guess. Sorry, Post game because... content. After we've actually completed the game, then we can waste time coming back here to. Sadly, this no. Town. There is there is no post game stuff. Uh, after you beat the final boss, uh, you basically restart the game oh. uh, immediately. So apparently, this is um, a city of the, the optional, dead. The optional. Yeah, basically, like I said, Jova, these were the astros of people who use the mineral powder actually get. Um, anyway, what I was about to say. Um, after you beat the final boss, the ending, basically the game tells you that uh, it's the last step. Uh, if you have any things uh, in uh, in suspended that you need to resolve, uh, go ahead. And that's your cue for finishing all the main cycles because some of them get a lot uh, in, that, uh, sp in that space, specifically resurrecting Clavis. Um, but otherwise, no, there is no post-game stuff. After the ending, the game basically resets, so... so. My daughter always used to anyway, say she hated me. God. She'd say I was just a smelly pumpkin. She could never introduce to our friends. I tell her, what makes me a pumpkin, daughter? But when the side effects got really bad, I became able to use magic. She told me for the first time that she'd always looked up to me. That she'd always loved me. So she just pushed me away to make herself look oh. cool. You know, I'll tell you. And I was alive. There was a boy who lived next door to me who played the accordion. Uh... Pedro? Is that? He loved to practice, and whenever I opened my window, I could hear him play. I wonder whatever happened I... to him. Nishihora san, I didn't know you had such friends. <laughs> the, the, the official origin story of Tomato Nishihora. <laughs> Told for the eyes anyway, of go, go someone ahead, who watched go, go it from ahead, a window. Go ahead, Pedro, what you were saying. Uh, uh, well, it's interesting you say that, uh, Teo, because you, you you were bringing up parallels between this and Nino Kuni 2. Uh, this also counts as one because uh, Nino Kuni 2 also has a very similar design in the spirits that you talk to uh, in Nino Kuni 2. So th it's also kind of a flame kind of thing. So that's another one, I guess. Again, I'm pretty convinced that he, you know, 
actively took inspiration from these titles. Not to say that he lacks creativity, I don't want to assume that, uh, but in a sense that he wanted to homage them, which, uh, co well, considering level 5 previous history, it's kind of rare. Re Hino is not the one to do too many uh, shoutouts to other game uh, games. Uh, there are the uh, obviously. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on, Jova. Hold on, Pedro. But. I mean, not for nothing. What? I mean, but you know, stuff like Snack World is pretty much a love letter to JRPGs. Yeah. Sure. Uh, can you? Can you? Yeah, I was about to mention. You get stuff, for example, like pop cultural references of uh, in uh, you can watch uh, any sometimes in uh, Snack World. Yeah, Snack World and I guess also Fantasy Live played on the played on the idea of the typical RPG. RPG. What I mean is. Uh, uh, Nino Kuni, uh, compared to the other major level 5 game, has a more uh, down-to-earth, serious kind of tone to it. There is also the comedy, but it's uh, you can tell there is a bit of a difference in terms of tone and feeling. And uh, what I mean also is uh, uh, directly referencing game events almost to a T, uh, like saying... Uh, um, uh, the president of the United States uh, having a similar experience to push up to show in the beginning and even question if he's dead, obviously, then diverging into uh, Nino Kuni's two plot. Uh, but uh, and they honestly feel as if Nino Kuni 2 has like a step forward in terms of referencing and having similarities with other uh, major games and gaming companies, what they do. When in when instead when it comes to say okay watch or snack or I guess uh, it's more of the idea of the tropes uh, rather than being direct reference to the gaming. When it comes to instead of movies, obviously you get even direct references like for example you okay watch Shadow Side episode which has like a gajillion references to horror movies, including Alien, for example. Yeah, that's what well, I that... wanted to come up. Oh for. sure, uh, that, well, that's a faint tale. Let's see if you go, if you check all of them stuff like Hino's games are always taking inspiration from something. Like he has plenty of creativity, like you said, but uh, he has a very firm foundation in like, and most of his work is always on um, paying homage to something he loved as a child. Uh, you, yeah. you told me that uh, I think you told me that uh, the first Dark Cloud is. Has some similarities to the Zelda games. Uh, it does. It has but quite the a thing few. about Dark Cloud One, well, the, the thing about Dark Cloud One too is that it was the it was the game where Sony kept Hino on a leash because remember this was literally yeah, Sony yeah, yeah. putting their bets on a brand new developer that literally had zero games in their catalog. So that's so also why they had Japan Studio collaborating. With yeah. Them. So when it comes to the mm -hmm. typical, for example, when you, when eventually I record Dark Cloud One. You're gonna start realizing uh, that uh, this is important. No, no, don't worry. Uh, if why do I get the feeling basically, we have this, to, do to sum it up. Uh, no, no. The, the, basically, well, I was just pausing in case we needed to voice over these characters, but uh, they're not saying too important stuff. Basically, they're reiterating what they just said. They're basically the souls of the dead, uh, specifically people consuming our powder, and they feel regret for their past lives. When you talk to them, we explain what they were doing their lives most of them some of them were really innocent people that's why they feel regret uh, for what they've done uh, and they understand that consuming the power was not the right decision they think they've done something bad uh, towards the people that they love because they were corrupted that's by the all continue, Pedro. well you'll notice this when i record dark cloud too but uh pretty much all of the typical kino tropes they're not in dark cloud like for example there's no tragedy in Dark Cloud. Well, okay, yeah. fine. It starts with a with the world basically getting ravaged by the by an, by an evil, but you still don't even know anybody at this point, so it doesn't really count as a dramatic tragedy moment. Or maybe so, it's a lazy like, kind of a, dramatic like, tragedy. Uh, well, you have to understand, Jova, that uh, I understand. Hino don't, was not allowed oh, okay, to okay, properly. Okay, okay, Pedro, Pedro. Don't worry. I know that you know Dark Cloud was not really one of Hino's passion projects. That was more so Sony wanting their answer to Legend of Zelda. Well, Dark, with Dark Chronicle, actually, he was allowed actually to actually because when you when you compare to Dark Cloud, yes, Dark yes, Chronicle yes, yes, is yes, clearly yes, yes, yes. an Akahiro Hino but game. But that's Dark Chronicle. We're talking about Dark Cloud One. Sure. Yeah, Dark Cloud One was basically. Anyway, uh, wait, let me explain Japan. briefly. Sorry. Let me explain yeah, briefly. Go ahead. Uh, Basically, you can't. Uh, <laughs> normally, you should know. Well, okay, yeah, you should. Uh, you 
you should be able to go forward, but there's a barrier blocking the passageway. So these elder souls is telling you that uh, in order to pass and break this, you need to go to use uh, what, the tower that's in the middle of the building. Why? Right. Wait, so we have to use a tower to get through the boundary oh, there. Oh, hold on, you're okay. good. I'll just cut the chase in impossible. Well, just look at that bear. How do you expect to get anywhere if you can't get through that? I, I, my attention is drawn to that goat oh, walking in the here. place there. Simple. Just need to flip the deactivation switch on the top of the xylophone tower. But the monsters are then getting their super top. I might even die, man. Still gonna go. You're already dead. What are you afraid of? Well then, if you got your heart set on climbing the tower, I'll have to give you my elder's permission. And basically that's what you need to enter the place. Alright then. Anyway, most of this the enemies are basically public drop versions of the goats uh, <laughs> that you Get it? Because we're in the, the afterlife. Uh, yeah, so. Well, we already have also the halo in uh, uh, when you encounter them. Exactly. Continue, Jonah. What do you see? Hey, Alexova was saying. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Alexova was saying, yes. The, the, the basic just of Dark Cloud was it was Japan Studio teaching Hino and his team how to make a game, basically. Don't yeah. know, you can think of it as uh, Hino's initiation. Think of it as Hino and his team's initiation ritual. How ironic! Well, Japan Studio, um, the people who you know help you know mentor. You know, and look at them now. Jova, don't even get me started on this because if I... That, that's the thing, Japan Studio has managed to do so many great things and to see when what we do now is just depressing. But, but uh, Geo, this Nat is back. To back. To what I yeah, 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 go, yeah. go ahead. Uh, but to get to what Teo was saying... Yeah, but to get to oh, what Teo was saying... You, you can basically run down to this, Teo. Pays homage to Sukoden because even oh. though Nino Kuni 2 takes a lot of uh, that stuff, a lot of the um, kingdom building uh, in Nino Kuni 2 is ha is basically a re like a refinement of the town of the town building from Dark Chronicle, which by itself was an homage to Sukoden. Mm -hmm. um, there's also Dark Dragon Quest 8 that goes without saying, you know. Because uh, Hino himself is a huge Dragon Quest fan, so making a Dragon Quest fan in general is just already an homage to his childhood in general. Uh, Rogue Galaxy, it's a combination of Star Wars with Treasure Planet, yeah. kind of. So I'm guessing Hino is a fan of Treasure Planet. Well, I mean, I mean, to be fair, the um, whole steampunk and, you know, ships in space thing, there's actually been a lot of that done outside of Treasure Planet, believe it or not. That said, though, I wouldn't be surprised but if he it is it a has, Joe, but planet. from what I've heard... It is Jova, but from what I've heard, it was apparently Treasure Planet who inspired the thing in steampunk. From what I can tell, I mean, I, I, might, I might be wrong, but from what I can tell, apparently it was. All right. Like... Uh, um, basically, this is the xylophone tower. Basically, as the name implies, it's a tower you need to climb floor to floor. But uh, each floor will have a specific, basically, an upgrade, a scaling version of the specific uh, challenge. And for this challenge, we're gonna be taught by a character that allows you, Jova, to play because, uh, to voice, because it's, you know, music theme for this particular challenge. Recognize those, uh, pattern on the floor? Mm-hmm. It's a piano. Alright, let's talk to this and see what happens. So you've noticed me, uh, have Jova. you? Yeah. I'm the guardian of this lofty tower. Well, isn't this a treat? I haven't had visitors in quite some time. It seems everyone's a coward these days. No way has the guts to take on this tower. They're already dead. And I've got a soft spot for reckless little humans like you. So what's with the blank stairs? You mean you don't know about the trial? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, seriously? Well, it seems my little speech of praise was wasted on you. Which means, wait, don't go. You don't know? Kids these days. I guess there's nothing for it. All right, <laughs> I'll explain the rules. So listen up and listen good. First, take a look over there at those golden keys. I'm going to play you a song. And it's your job to memorize it. Hey, what's with all the frowning? There's nothing to worry about. While I'm playing the music, the keys will glow to match the different notes. 
So even if you don't understand music, you can just memorize the order in which the lights glow. When the song's over, it's your turn. Play the notes in the order you have them. Here's how it goes. Stand on the key of the note you want to play, then press the X button. If you're standing on the correct key, the key will light up and the note will play. But if you make a mistake, there'll be no light and you'll hear no sound. If you can manage to recreate the song in its entirety, I'll open the stairway that leads to the next floor. Ba basically, Simon says. So, what is so dangerous about this tower? What about all the monsters that the Elder warned us about? There are monsters on the in, the, in, the in between sections we need to get to the outer floors. Yet, according to this guy anyway, here, apparently the reason everyone's scared is because of the trial. You'd think it's pressing the wrong key possible. would have some kind of consequence. All right, four notes. Let's see. There you go. Simple enough. All right. Oh, that's it. Very fun. Well, that's just the first one. Uh. Obviously, we're gonna get harder as, the, as we progress with the tower. So, are the spirits scared of the monsters, or are they scared of the trial, which this guy's suggesting? The monsters, uh, the, the guy is just very powerful, so... Well, if you can pass my trial, I guess you can't be all bad. I thought this world was full of only saps and cowards, but you proved me wrong. You might even be able to make it to but the top of this tower. But that wasn't a particularly difficult trial. But don't you see, sorry, there's more to come. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I guess challenges are Anyway, also use another thing. Mad, right? Yes, so oh, that is cute. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We're skipping. Wait, it. <laughs> I did not put music on this speed up. Uh, how Apparently ironic! Not. How ironic! The most musical dungeon, and it's silent. I swear, I did put some music <laughs> in the speed up section. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's okay. I can just finish what I was saying. It's the irony of it. <laughs> so, question to you: go ahead, the, uh, the tunes that are played as you go up the stairs, are there any merit or value to them? You know, sort of like no, that night no, in the dream. No, they're just ran they're just, they're very random, to be honest. I'm not just sure if there's anything logic to it. Uh, you come anyway, this way, basically, uh, basically. Yeah. This means you have completed my oh, younger yeah. brother's trial. Oh, so the youngest brother is the most pompous one. How ironic. Well, he's rather a simple fellow. This trial can be passed quite easily. You'll find, however, that I am different. If you think such an easy task deserved to be called a trial, you do well to think well here. A trial is an insupportable wall. A bitter struggle. I shall send you home in tears. Well then, shall we begin my trial? Listen, for I will play. So yeah, already more difficult than before. So good at this. Uh, totally. Totally. You <laughs> could open up for Mozart if you were still alive. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, okay, but, but I get what you mean. Uh, but, but yeah, well, yeah, yeah, go ahead, continue, Perrin. It's uh, like, for example, Professor Layton, that's an homage to Detective Conan, and of course the fact that uh, Hino grew up on Tago's books with the puzzles. And here we go stuff. again. No music. Uh, in his 11. Sorry, I'll use this imposter. Continue, Pedro. In his 11, Captain Tsubasa, obviously. Um, Professor Layden, uh, an homage to Jean Jean attorney. Oh, John Dark. I forgot about John Dark. Well, yeah, well, that's White Knight Chronicles. Also. To be fair, John well, Dark that's is a thing based off of... White Knight Chronicles is a special case. To be fair, it's John... I, I, got, I got a similar feeling to Final Fantasy XII with that game. Well, yeah, the battle system is definitely inspired by Final Fantasy XII. Besides, isn't John of Arc actually based off of, you know, Joan of Arc? Yeah. We don't know. We're way too cold of liberties. Do they Sorry, take the double liberties that, that the Saber series uh, takes? I pretend that fate doesn't exist, Jova. Oh! Oh, you don't like that series? 
No, no, I honestly think it's, it's just a mess. Basically, Shiroi. <laughs> anyway, hold on. For the third, for the third trial, guess what? Uh, the keys do not get illuminated. You have to remember only on noise alone. Have oh fun. boy. Hmm. Isn't that simple? Well, shall we get going? Yeah. Only the, the, the last two are you? The last three, sorry. I eliminated, so I have fun. Continue, guys. It's not the Come worst sounds. Anyway, basically, Shiroi and Pedro, um, the best way to sum up the Fate series is imagine if, say, a lot of important figures in history or in fairy tales were given super crowns. No, I'm actually not kidding. Um, uh, you see, uh, in the Fate well, series, King Arthur was actually a woman. And uh, Mordred was also a woman. <laughs> Because uh, King Arthur's crazy also, sister... Lots, also, lots and lots of alternate dimensions. Oh, yeah. Basically, the Mordred thing. Oh, well, oh, that's another oh, special oh. tale. I'll get back to that later. And then we've got Claudius. Yes, Nero Claudius of the Roman Empire was also truly a girl. <sighs> <laughs> By the way, too, I mean, obviously Final Fantasy XII doesn't count as something from Hino's childhood. By the time the game came out, well, Hino was obviously, already... <laughs> obviously, but... But yeah, why not... well, the thing about Wadana Chronicles you have to realize is that it was a very particular... And it's the primary reason why Final Fantasy doesn't work with Sony anymore. Wasn't that because one uh, Sony, Sony really wanted Italy? something to... That, yeah, Joe, see, the thing about What Night Chronicles is that Level 5 was not allowed to... They have an even less creative control than even in Dark Cloud 1. In the sense that, uh, um, basically, Square, uh, sorry, Sony really wanted something to fill in because Final Fantasy XIV was taking so god long. Um, so basically, they, they ordered level five. Be just a... <laughs> sorry, go on. Well, we didn't know at the time, Joe. We had to realize. I mean, but, it um, is ironic, thinking back, but I don't know. It is, yeah. Yeah. So basically, Sony literally uh, put. Level 5 on the tightest leash they ever put, saying, make it like Final Fantasy. To the point where you can even use cell shading, you can use, uh, like, but basically just make this to be like a, 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 a triple A Final Fantasy game. I don't even understand. Which is, of course. Yeah, and, uh, Sony's it's because, um, Sony really wanted uh, a, a, a top tier JRPG to fill in the void, basically. Did, yeah, but what. Did Sony really view themselves that way that they had to be the JRPG machine that they couldn't have just waited until Final Fantasy XIII or at least this just is let Hino make tough. the game he wanted to make? That's also the thing, you know, that we wanted an exclusive and first game was completed on the Xbox 360. Oh so yeah, time. that's not right. Mention, not to mention, Java, a lot of projects like this game, for example, at the time were considered Xbox 360 exclusives. So. So, so we did something in past. It's, you know, so, uh, it's really yeah. kind of amazing thinking that, that there was actually a time where Microsoft were managing to get exclusive deals with Japanese companies, considering how terrible they're that's doing it right because, again, the P That's because, once more, once again, the PSP had a terrible hardware to work, at least at first. Let me put it like this, Jova. You're already very, very well familiar with Little House content by this point, and he knows overall style that he prefers, like a very family-friendly type of style, despite still having heavy themes. Uh, I, yeah. Like I mean, that. yeah. When we can play White Knight Chronicles. Aside from the aside from the the logo and the fact that the credits clearly display Akito Hino in there, you would never be able to tell it's a level five game. Yeah. I still, like, would, don't for what I've tried so far, I wouldn't say it's a bad game. I no, it's, a, it's a good game gameplay wise, but the story of the first game, the second story, the game story is fortunately quite better. But the the first game story is. Oh yeah, I've, I haven't beat the first game yet. So I don't know. It's yeah, it's it's not good. I, I can tell you. It's a shame because it could have seemed great if if Sony would just allow just <laughs> make a play that. game music. If they allowed uh, Sony, to, uh, level, sorry, if they allowed Level Five to just make whatever they wanted to make, it would have probably turned out exactly like they wanted. That's the ironic part because uh, it, it was basically a, a, a development team working on something that they were not passionate about at all. You know. That, that, that's why Nino Kuni ended up being so much better because it was actually something with, uh, uh, that, that brings it up. Nino Kuni, Studio Ghibli, was without saying. Uh -huh. So there's that. So... John Dark, I can't tell. I mean, maybe maybe Hino 
is maybe that, he knows that's, that's is fascinated by Jean d'Arc, by Joanna d'Arc, I don't know. <laughs> possible, possible, I can tell you this for Jean d'Arc. Um, it's strong until the last third where it starts losing steam, so I don't know exactly what happened there. Uh, well, I mean, the ending she has, is she kind of has to really die weird, but end, I don't, I mean... but... They they find a way to get around that. It's it it may sound silly, but I consider it kind of like a, similar to a, pl a, late, a late on plot twist. I have no Either problems. you're fine with it, like myself, or you may have a problem with it. Let but me guess. I'll let you be. I'll let you guys be the judge. Let uh, me guess. Either a body double, that. or she got magic the way she was being burned at the stake. No, 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 Java. There is a much more simple explanation on why, in this case, she kind of avoids the stake. Uh, but don't worry, he still references that. Uh, the, the, it's just that it's not in the way that you think. Again, I, like I said, it's kind of handled like a latent plot twist overall. Um, yeah. So that could work, or either. Uh... Okay, that could work for its favor, Tom, as it's. Don't worry, Java. When we'll get to when we'll get to the game. Uh, we'll see. For uh, yeah. It depends on the on the person. Uh, Yokai Watch or Found, Spe specifically the first game. Um... Uh, I'd say uh, even the second world. game as well, well. the second it, game just... Little Battler's Experience? Though? I'm sorry, could you repeat that too? Little Battler's Experience. Uh, well, just picture, just pick any mecha anime you can think of too. Also, oh, so yeah, my I liberation the boss of it, of it. Well, no, that Actually, was, that was my pass to the 51. That... It, it, it was it, it was done it was What's published by level five but it was made by proper manufacturers. Basically, Jova, did you have to consider the guild uh, uh, title series. as a whole. Yeah. The the point of the guild series was level five trying to because the indie games were starting to get popular in in the US, in, in the West, and Hino thought, you know, we could have something similar to that. So basically, the guild series was this thing where level five would get these developers. Okay, just make whatever games you you want to make on 3DS, and we'll small publish one, it. Uh, yeah, a small scale. Yeah, yeah, basically giving the developers complete freedom, as if they were just making an indie game. And basically, that's what the guild series was. And uh, it, and yeah, it, they, they put some really um, good like underrated games on a 3DS. The version made an Omase weapon. If you uh, you have a 3DS, play Omase weapon slot. That's such a great. Funny. It's literally a game where you play as a, as a JRPG weapon uh, shop keep, and it's and well, you probably think, that, how do you make a lot of that? Was that made by level five, level five itself? Because I could yes. see that concept being reprised in Fantasy Life. Yes, uh, it was made by level oh, five themselves. Also, also, some of them yeah. were some of them were by outside. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Kaji Nofune even participated. Yeah, that, I yeah. know. Also, in case you're wondering, yeah, so the boss of the tower, so the tower is a double pallet swap of two of the bosses where you fought previously. That's yeah. when where things start to get very lazy. Back world, I, I'm guessing maybe Hino is has some kind of stop motion cartoon that he's probably a fan of, maybe something. Like that. Considering he grew up in the 70s, it's very, very possible that he had some kind of... Seven, well, aside, uh, from, aside from Artman animation, I don't remember any particular one that... Even in Japan, I mean. Well, oh, there's also... there's always... Um, God... Jova, what's the name of those guys who made the, um, the Rudolph oh, specials? Uh, Rankin Bass. That, that's it. That's, there's Rankin Bass. That, that's also that's, possible. That's, okay. Those are disturbing. So that's a seal. <laughs> So we step on it. You can now solve the secret of the seal. Basically, by stepping on it, we unlock the barrier. Let me this dungeon was for only this tail, purpose. Teo, please tell me the Venus de Milo turns into a penis monument, <laughs> like in Last Battle. <laughs> Sadly, no. And that's it. The gun is oh. not good. The, the gun the is pen good. The, the penis is, is evil. evil. And Zardos was weird. Anyway, in the next part, uh, we reach what essentially is technically the game, the main game is the final dungeon. Uh, I'm not sure if he yeah. can prod once immediately, but we'll see. See ya. See ya.